Channel 22, Alpha New Equipment, Bravo, Refurbish Old Ultra Nexus. Gentlemen. Okay. We're here to talk about uh, the sound problem we had. I think you all got the letter that we sent out uh, explaining what we think happened and what Access AV thinks happened. So what we had come up with is to basically uh, replace everything because it's everything in there is at least 15 years old. Like we did the um, switchers and um, all that. So uh, I gave you a, um, a list of uh, the bids, the reasons why for the, uh, this is just, I'm talking just about the uh, audio right now. And to replace just the audio equipment would be $6,230.42. That would include uh, three mixers, 10 table mic microphones, four ceiling microphones, and uh, the necessary cable. The other equipment on here is, is uh, to basically make sure we don't go down again. Or we could, if we do, we could uh, get back up in, I would say, an hour or so if somebody's here to do it. And uh, it's basically redundancy. Uh, that would include a, um, a um, well, the, uh, we have a data. We have the data video mobile station. That's the most expensive at uh, $6,200. And what that would do, that would cover if our switcher went down. If that went down, this would flip up in its place uh, and could be rehooked up in a le probably an hour or so. And it also would take, we have an Anycast that we do the uh, town meeting with and the budget committee outside meeting with and the school board, uh, their deliberative session and actually SAU 21 when we do that. Uh, and it would cover that too. And it also could be used at the fire station uh, if and when we get that up and running as, uh, as far as the fire station down at the beach for doing uh, the precinct meetings. The other equipment is basically just to um, uh, have on hand in case we lost the, um, the e ESE audio dis distribution amp. That's what killed everything. Uh, and we would get another one of those and have it on the shelf because if it happened once, it could happen again. We don't know how it happened. It could have been a surge. Um, and also have another TV in, in back because that's all those monitors are. That main monitor is just the TV, so have another one of those in, on hand. <coughs> and all that along with the, um, along with the audio. The lowest bid comes out to thirteen thousand eight hundred or three hundred eighty-one forty-eight. There's a couple other, th and then there's a couple other uh, things we're looking at. We need a, we need a, um, but we haven't got the bid in. We didn't get the bid until late Friday, so I couldn't give it to you in the in the pack. It was a uh, a, ult a new Ultra Nexus for SAU thirteen, because we're going to have the other one refurbished, that's the, uh, that's B, and use that as a backup for both. And that's in, um, but I, I'll have to um, get that to you uh, next week or the week after. Thank you, Mr. Buckett. Um, we have a lot of single point of failures where if we lose one piece of equipment, we are going to lose everything. And I gave you a diagram on that letter it's an attachment at showing how basically the signal travels through 22 to get to the street. Now, doing all this, we could lose equipment in Iraq, and there's no way to get over that because um, Comcast would have to come out and fix that. That would be at least a couple of day project just getting there. But anything in-house that we're coming in for this list, 
we can do within an hour, do it quickly, have the parts on hand. That's what killed us. We didn't have parts on hand. And we're ha we have an aging infrastructure back there. <coughs> We've been getting it as we go forward, everything that we can. But just having a few parts would make life much easier. Thank you, sir. Selectman Woolsey, questions? Yeah, this goes back to September 1996. So I imagine you still... Yeah, it's the same equipment as far as I know. I can't make heads or tails out of the parts you need, but if you need them, do it. I, I believe we need the audio. You have yes. to keep it running. Right. And every every piece back there that's running now, every one of the uh, mixers, there's something wrong with each one. We've got two, we've got three making two work because the other one has no output. And, and then uh, we can get those rebuilt and have them as spares. You got to do it. You got to do it. Slipping Griffin. You know, I'm, I happened to be, I was surprised when it first happened. <coughs> and I thought, oh, God, this isn't good. No, we were very surprised, <clears> too. <throat> but um, I have a lot of confidence in the way you take care of everything in there. And if uh, you can, like Paul said, make us feel that this will take care of almost everything, I'm all for it. Thank you. Yes, sir. Ron, you, you do a great job at band-aids. Yeah. <laughs> you Unfortunately, great, yeah, I've got a... You do a great job at that, but for too long, we haven't put any money back into the system. Right. And, and, I and agree. And it's showing now. Yeah, I'm too know, I, I think I'm too conservative is what it is. You know? uh, and I won't disagree with you on that. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, we, we, have to, we haven't spent any money in there a long time. It's very important that station stays up and running at all times. Right. Yes. For, for, for everything in town. And, and I know you guys have tried Yeoman's job at trying to make sure that that happens. And if we need to spend money on it, we need to spend money on it. It's, that's what people pay their cable when they pay their Comcast. Yeah. When they pay that extra whatever the fee is. Mm -hmm. They pay that so they can have that service. Right. Yep, and we need to make sure that we honor that and get the service done. So I got no problem with you. Thank you, sir. Select more Dell. I agree. In, in People just need to know that the money comes out of the fund you have, right? Right. It comes out of the out of the uh, franchise fees. Right. Yeah. So it's not a tax. It's not taxpayer now. Right. Thing. And and do you have any plans on coming up with a, like a five year plan or something? You know, replacing periodically. Yeah, we, we are going to do that. And also, uh, that reminds me, I talked to Access AV on a uh, permit <coughs> preventive maintenance program. Uh, they can come down every year and go through everything all the wires, all the systems, and make sure that they're good. I think it's around $980. She said it, that's the highest it would be. It could be less, depending if they have to do any mm -hmm. any work. So and i got to get that in writing, too. Okay, and so. you guys do a great job. So, yeah. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Do we need a motion on this, too? Yeah. We need a motion. motion I'll make the motion to... Okay. I'll second it. And I, I want to okay. that. I want please, to Paul, please sit back down. I, I haven't heard a specific. I haven't heard a specific request request from you for the exact um, figure, guys. The, the exact. Let, may, may I just have the floor? Well, just, just. Yeah. Exact figure. I would go with this figure here. For yeah, it is. Yeah. Exact okay. is thirteen thousand three hundred eighty-one forty-eight. Okay. I will make that motion. And what is that for? That is for everything on the list there. That is for the sound system and then all the all the other equipment that would uh, back up what we have in there. Okay. Including. There's been a motion. Mm -hmm. Second. Mm -hmm. Those in favor. Unanimous. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. Don't leave without the money. See.